Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. We're outside on the golf course today. We've got uh, some new golf clubs here, the Cleveland RTX Zip Core Wedges. We're testing them out today. Thomas is hitting some shots and providing us with his professional feedback as well. So we've already hit some shots out on the green. Uh, we did some you know, shots out of the rough, pitch shots, bunker shots, and uh, now we're kind of on the range getting some uh, track man numbers here, and Thomas is gonna give us his feedback, and then we're gonna kind of break down what's all with these wedges technology-wise, performance-wise, uh, and also the looks of them as well. So Thomas, we'll break down the shots you've already hit uh, a little bit later. Now we'll focus on sort of the track man numbers on the range here. Looks like you've got a 52 degree to start with. Yeah, so this will be some kind of like track man testing. This hit a few shots with a 52, the 56, and the 60. I'll probably hit my, like my 1030 swing. I usually don't like to hit too full of a swing yeah. with, a, with, a, with a wedge in my hand. Um, we'll take a look at the track man numbers and check out the spin rate, check out the distance everything's going, and can take a look at everything. Perfect. All right, Thomas, that was four shots with the 52 degree. That's the kind of the midsole there of the RTX zip core. Um, what are you normally hitting with your 52 degree, or do you have a 52 degree in the bag? Um, and what would you expect for like spin and distance there? I do have a 52 degree in the bag. Um, my 1030 swing is one, about 120 yards. Okay. I was trying to hit a 1030 swing with this right now, and I hit it 120.8 on average, I think it was. So pretty, pretty spot on with regards to the loft. That's yeah. more loft kind of doing that. Yeah. Um, it felt really soft off the club face. So I was really impressed. I could see the ball kind of spinning a, a little bit there as well. So I know it felt like it was gliding up the club face. It felt really good yeah. on, uh, off, the, off the face. I'm spinning about 8,500 RPMs for my 1030 swing. I'm not going to try and spin it like crazy. Right. It was like kind of spot on with what I would expect out of, out of a good, good looking golf club. So. Nice. Well, let's get to the 56 degree here and see how that compares. Sounds good. All right, Thomas, 56 degree, four shots. What did you think about that? It's again, felt, felt pretty good. I'm really liking the feel off the club face. It feels really soft, really, I uh, feel like this is kind of gliding up the club face and coming off the club face really, really soft. I'm getting really used to the look of it. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it looks really good. It's like I said, it's just a slightly larger profile than the RTX 4s, but smaller than, for example, the uh, CBX2 wedge, yeah. so it's kind of like right in between. Yeah. So it's kind of the best of both both worlds. It's sleek, but also it's got a little thickness nice. there as well. Yeah, so. I've noticed that too. And it seems like even just watching you hit these shots, that the sound is a lot more muted, which kind of goes hand in hand with uh, what you're saying about the soft feel. So that's nice to see. And now we got sort of the 60 degree left here. We'll compare that, and then we'll get into some of the shots that we already hit on the course. Sounds good. Okay, Thomas, we had four shots with the 60 degree wedge now, so we've hit 12 shots. Um, overall, well, let's start with the 60 degree, how'd that compare to what you would have expected there with spin, distance, and then of course the feel compared, especially to the last, uh, the 52 and the 56 that you hit. Yeah, so distance wise, I'm normally around about kind of 95 yards is my like 1030 swing with my, with my 60. I yeah. think it was pretty close to that. The last one I pulled just slightly went about 100 yards, but Otherwise, yeah. they know the other three right around 95 yards. So distance-wise, my gapping was actually pretty pretty solid. It was like 95, then it was about 108, then it was about 120. So okay. 12 to 13 yard gap between each wedge, which was yeah. good with the same 10:30 swing. So right, loft gapping was good. Yeah, that's what you look yep. for, right? Yep. And then you've already, you've said you know you like the way it looks. Um, and then let's kind of backtrack here now to the shots that we've hit uh, already out on the course. We hit. Uh, pitch shots, you hit some shots out of the rough, you hit bunker shots, um, kind of went to that 100 yard mark and targeted the pin. Um, what? Let's start with those, those 100 yard shots, right? Because yep. that's a, a distance that a lot of golfers, I and mean, I'm sure you do this too, where you get to a tee box and if it's kind of a narrow tee shot, you say, okay, give me 200 yards. So what did you think about that shot? How did the RTX zip core wedges play from there? 
Yeah, so the 100 yard shot we went on the course, uh, I think we, it was like about my, we were hitting the 56, it's about my nine o'clock 56 swing. Okay. It was nice because I could see it kind of like land and stop, kind of one, one or two bounces and kind of stop perfectly. I'm not one that likes to spin it like crazy. The greens aren't exactly soft right now either. Yeah. So I'm not expecting it to kind of rip back, but I was still getting adequate spin. I was still getting eight or 9,000 RPM spin when I'm hitting a shorter backswing. I'm, I'm not going to spin the ball like, like right. crazy, but I still were, was getting a lot of spin, a lot of control around the green. Yeah. yeah. And then we took your golf balls, went to sort of the rough on the green side there. And one of the things I noticed right away on a lot of those was that there was a lot of grab. Uh, a lot of spin that I don't think you anticipated right away. Um, we kind of adjusted to it later on, but there was a lot of spin out of the rough, which isn't usually typical of wedge shots around the green in rough. When the rough wasn't exactly like thin or anything, it was kind of some thick rough there. Yep. And the ball was grabbing pretty good, which um, obviously once you get used to that can be really helpful. You're right. It took me a little bit to adjust because it definitely the ball was stopping pretty quick, and that's definitely. You know, a plus by playing this wedge because you can, you can stop and power around the green. Say you short side yeah. yourself, you got to hit a flop shot over a bunker. Yeah. Um, it's going to be nice to be able to get that thing to grab really fast. Notice when I was hitting the first four or five shots, came up a little bit short because I wasn't, wasn't expecting it to mm. be so right. easy to hit out of out of the rough. It felt like the club was just kind of gliding under it perfectly. Yeah. Ball kind of popped up, landed soft, and then kind of spun pretty pretty quickly. Right. So. Uh, yeah, it was it was awesome. That was probably the, the one shot that I did notice that was really really easy with this club. Really stop really fast. Yeah, yep. I mean, the alt zip grooves on that wedge are you know they're deeper, they're closer together, and they're sharper than any Cleveland wedge in the past. So they've kind of reconstructed those grooves a little bit uh, to cut through you know other materials quicker, and it seems like that worked pretty well. Uh, now these are brand new too, yep. uh, so that helps for sure in comparison to what maybe you're used to playing. But you can still see the performance of that spin out of the rough is not common really for wedges. So uh, from there. You hit some pitch shots from the fairway, and then you hit some bunker shots. Uh, that bunker shot in particular was that, that full sole. Um, how did that play out of the sand uh, for you? Yeah, so the sand was a little bit firm. After hitting a couple of shots, I was able to fluff it up a little bit. So the fact that it was kind of firm sand, I did catch a couple a little, little bit thin right off the, right mm -hmm. the bat. That was me adjusting to the, to the yeah. sand. Um, but then once the sand was a little soft, a little fluffier, I really felt really easy about to use that bounce and let that kind of bounce kind of grind under underneath the sand and have that ball kind of pop up and land really really soft there as well yeah um, so it was pretty easy once I figured out you know the sand was firmer than I was expecting right. <laughs> so it, it was really really easy once I kind of figured out what the sand conditions were yeah. like so. yeah I think in general overall between your full shots between the short game shots too I think you've talked about the soft feel and in my observations I've noticed even a, a softer sound too, a little bit more muted sound I think that has a lot to do with that new core so they put it in a new substance that's not steel like it has been in the past. It's more of a, a strong but also soft material. And that really seems to have changed the way these things perform, not just the feel and sound, but also you get some more spin. You get, uh, again, that better feel that you like and some distance control out there too. So the Cleveland RTX Zipcore wedges, we've tested three wedges today. Thomas has given us his insight as a fitter. We've given our observations. Seems like some pretty good set uh, of wedges here from Cleveland, like they would disappoint, right? They're always uh, phenomenal with their wedge uh, performance and production. Yeah, they're always really, really solid. You're, you're right. I feel like the feel was probably a, definitely a big stand, standing point for me there, too. Um, definitely was not clicky or anything like that. Very, very soft off the club face. Felt like the ball was kind of gliding up the face and stopping pretty quick. Yeah, well, second swing of viewers out there. The Cleveland RTX Zipcore wedges. Get your set of wedges at Second Swing, whether in the store, whether online with one of our certified fitters, and get your wedges properly fit for your swing. Thomas, thanks for hitting all the shots today and providing feedback. Not a problem.